Hey guys, it's Marley with Adrada De Powder. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I apply my builder gel. Um, this builder gel, I released it like a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, it's available on the website. It is absolutely amazing. I actually already prepped this nail and I'm only gonna do this one nail and <laughs> it broke a couple days ago. So that's not good, but anyway. I'm gonna wipe with alcohol and then I'm going to use my prep bond and uh, this is part of the uh, dip liquids the uh, extreme shine formula um, it's a really good prep so you um, just make sure you apply that okay You're gonna need your UV base coat gel. Um, this one is available on the website also. So you're gonna need your UV lamp, and this is the one I have right here. I got this one on Amazon and I really, really like it. It works great for me. I'm just keeping it away from the gel because you don't want to, um, you don't want to have your gels close to you know where the uv lamp is going to be okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to apply the the base gel first and i'm going to do a i'm going to do a thin coat okay it doesn't have to be super thick and very important uh stay away from your skin okay Oh, and by the way, I'm using my left hand and I am not left-handed, so I will be struggling for sure. Um, so anyway, I was saying, uh, please stay away from your skin, okay? Um, and this applies for like gels and deep liquids and nail polishes and all kinds of stuff. The gel, when you apply it, is going to like expand, you know, all over your nail. So you want to get it close, but just not so close where you're going to touch your skin. Make sure that you cap your free edge. Very important that you do that. you see that I didn't apply it all the way up my cuticle there's like a little bit you know um, without it and that's what you want okay now I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds okay so that is cured so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my builder gel and a brush Okay, so my very first coat of Builder Gel is going to be very thin. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm not, I'm just going to paint it like if I'm applying like regular nail polish or something. So I'm gonna grab a little blob. And I'm kind of gonna turn it around like that. Okay. So this is how much I have. Can you see? Let's see. It's not a whole lot. Okay. And again, I'm not I'm not a lefty here, so I'm struggling. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'm just going to apply it like if I was, you know, going to apply nail polish. I like to do this first because I, I don't like to apply a thick one um, first because if I do, you know, it gets hot when you put it in the lamp and then you feel like, you feel like, you know, 
it's burning. Mm, that's not good. I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds um, because it's a very thin layer, so I think 60 seconds is fine. So let's do that real fast. Okay, now let's apply another layer. And this time I'm gonna do it just a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit more So let me show you. This is how much I have right now. Okay. So I'm going to put that right here on the middle of my nail. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to start moving it, you know, everywhere. And don't forget to get your your free edge if you don't then you might get lifting okay so I think that looks okay I'm gonna put my finger upside down okay and what that's gonna do is going to help create an apex a little bit so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna put in the lamp for 60 seconds. Actually, I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna I'm gonna do 60 seconds and then another 60 seconds just to make sure you know that it's cured because it's a thicker layer. Um, so you really want to make sure it's cured. So I think 120 seconds is perfect. It really depends on you know how powerful your lamp is okay this is how it looks so far okay so if you are doing builder gel as a base um, before you dip then you should probably stop right here wipe with alcohol um, you know file it a little bit and then you know do your your dipping but if you're gonna do builder gel and keep your nails like you know looking natural then you want to apply maybe two more layers I'm, I don't know I mean it just it depends on how thick you want your nails to be so I'm gonna do another one it's probably going to be the same thickness as the previous uh, layer that I did so this is how much I have okay and I'm gonna put it right there in the middle okay and I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna bring it back kind of just push it back and move it around everywhere So it looks really uneven, like it looks super thick here. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some of that gel up like that.
looks crazy bumpy it levels out really well so i'm not worried about the bumpiness too much okay i'm gonna hold it upside down for a little bit and then i'm gonna cure for 120 seconds okay that's good okay so let's check the thickness here i think that's pretty good for me um i don't know if you can see how thick that is i think i don't know it's kind of hard to show that but that for me it's good um my nails like my natural nails are pretty strong so you know i don't need it to be like super super thick i'm gonna clean my brush okay with alcohol So let me close my gel here. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe my nail with alcohol. So make sure that tacky layer is gone. And from there, uh, you could just file it. you are done filing then you are going to wipe with alcohol again I'm going to apply no wipe gel top I think that looks good. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, that is cured. Um, so this is a no wipe gel, so I'm all good. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.